Hey y'all, wanna put a bayonet on your Mossberg 590? Watch this video, it'll help you out. <laughs> enjoy this content i really appreciate it likes subs shares all that stuff really helped me out i really appreciate it so thank you also down below coupon codes for anybody interested so i have here a mossberg 590 retrograde you can only see part of it but just take my word for it the rest of this is a well the rest of a 590 retrograde but anyway i figured hey i'm setting up kind of a fun range gun slash home defense gun um i already have home defense gun but i figured hey why not have another one for the other end of the apartment so anyway um, basically, I thought, hey, why not throw a bayonet on there just to have it on there? You know, again, why not? Anyway, um, so I just started doing research. I learned several things that helped me out that uh, because I did a ton of research, it saved me quite a bit of time and money when selecting a bayonet for my 590 retrograde. So first thing I want to do is a side note about this. And this was something that took me a while to figure out and is not really mentioned. Um, if you want to have a sling and a bayonet, when you buy this gun, right, the sling mount is up here, right? And obviously with a bayonet, that doesn't work. So what I found out after searching a bunch is back here, there is a second hole on the back of the lug that you can take the mount from here and put it here. Um, I just want to say that because it took me a long time to find that out. And I was looking at totally crazy, weird things and adapters and stuff to mount a sling. Um, and then, you know, the answer was right there in front of me. So if you want to have a sling and a bayonet, check the back of your bayonet lug. I do think there was a certain year back they didn't do it, but, um, you know, for the last several years they've done it. And obviously this gun is fit pretty new, so they're still doing it. Um, but if you're looking to have a sling and a bayonet, check the back of your lug. You might save 20 bucks on a sling mount. So on to the bayonet. I selected the M7 bayonet for my gun. Um, I thought it kind of, you know, looked the nicest. Again, I'm going for the trench gun vibe. So, you know, the trench gun bayonet was this big old long sword looking thing. And uh, this is just a nice clean, you know, basically a shorter version of that kind of sort of, right? No big uh, rainbow looking knife or anything. Um, so I selected the M7 bayonet, right? Now, this is a surplus Imperial M7 bayonet. Um... I was about to purchase the new production Ontario Bayonet until I learned something. The Ontario Bayonet, the distance between here and here, right, the mounting lug and then the ring, is just a little bit longer. And what will happen is if you do some Google searching, you'll find out that that actually makes it really difficult to mount to the 590 because the distance for this is actually, as much as you'd think it would have, you know, a little bit more give, uh, is actually fairly low tolerance. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stick my bayonet on, right? And I'm going to show, clicks on very nice. But when I click this on, um, it just kind of rests over the front of this cap. And it, and this, you know, perfectly secure, not going anywhere. But give it another, you know, eighth inch, quarter inch of length here. And what end, people ended up happening was that did not clear this little thing here and you would have it that would end up falling off the gun, not being secure. And a lot of people ended up giving up or really cursing the new production Ontario bayonets for not working or thinking their gun was out of whack. When in reality, it was just that they are a little bit longer. So what you want to do, if you want to put an M7 bayonet on your gun or basically any bayonet on your gun from what I can understand buy military surplus because the mil the surplus um, bayonets were made to a specific standard and were made to fit on the lugs so buy a surplus bayonet there's a ton of them on eBay they are about the same price as the new production bayonet I got this again this is an imperial bayonet right Mark imperial and how it shows up um, I got this in pretty good condition, you know, for a Vietnam era surplus bayonet. It was just under $100. Um, you know, I know depending upon where you shop, the Ontario bayonets can be about that. So if you want a completely new old stock one, you can get it for just over $100. Me, I didn't mind because I figured it was probably going to get beat up on the end of the gun anyway. Um, so I bought a used one. But trust me, if you're looking to put a bayonet 
on your 590, or maybe you've put a new production bayonet on your 590 and it hasn't fit, look on eBay, find yourself a surplus bayonet, and it'll fit no problem. Um, but hopefully that helps you save a whole bunch of headaches because I've seen people that when they got the new production bayonets and they were too long, they've used rubber washers, they've used sling adapters, they've used everything they can to bump that tube cap just a little bit further to kind of make it fit. And all that stress and all that figuring out could be fixed just by getting a surplus bayonet that's made to the right specifications. Because once you start putting stuff on the end of here, I saw one good idea, but it had its flaws, which was uh, people were getting an O-ring and putting it on here, and that was giving it just enough clearance to push it up a little bit further. But then the problem was because uh, this wasn't locking in all the way, they were running into trouble with that coming loose. So just a quick little video, nothing crazy. Uh, put down below, you know, you ever bayoneted your shotgun or uh, anything like that? Um, you know, if you found a particular bayonet that also works besides the uh, Surplus M7, put, put down below what you think and have a good day.